Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are sporting our Adidas Orange today as the Numbers Up promo is here inside of FIFA 22. The Adidas Don't Stop Till You're 99 brand new promo is released today inside of FIFA 22. I wanna talk about this loading screen, how I think it could be a crazy day for the market, and also what other content that I expect because this is a never seen before promo inside of FIFA, right? We talked about it yesterday. A EA, EA branded promo with another company is very interesting, right? There's a lot of names being thrown around for who could be in this promo team. It's not like the whole team is leaked like it was last week for Rule Breakers Team 2. We don't, there's at least a little bit of uncertainty as it seems right now. So I want to talk about that loading screen and how I think with the preview packs. Are they going to drop preview packs on a promo Friday? That's the big question I have for today. And that would be basically the number one thing that could change the market like crazy today is if we do get preview packs because we've been getting them a lot this past week and I'm curious to see if that continues with this promo. So let's take a look at the loading screen and get right into it because we don't have any hints. As of right now, there are no hints about who is going to be in this promo uh, from the loading screens that EA have put out. They did show us yesterday that these cards are going to be again live updating or progressing cards. So the guys aren't going to get their 99 stats right away but just pause for a second and realize that this is the third we have been inside of fifa 22 for almost two months about a month and a half and this is the third promo with upgrading or live cards of some aspect already in this game that's crazy that's definitely something we've never seen before but this is how these cards are going to upgrade right today on friday will be upgrade number one basically when the promo launches anybody who's in the team that will count as upgrade number one then some way down the line, upgrades number two and number three will be happening. Will they get a plus five numbers up attribute? So let's say, again, it's 99 passing on a Copa card, right? They would get plus five passing and plus one everywhere else. And then upgrade number three, that Copa stat that or Copa Predator or the x the the pace passing or dribbling stat would go all the way to 99 and the others would get a plus one now also this shows plus one on the card i don't know if it's going to be like an inform upgrade or a plus one like legit plus one so we'll have to figure that out of course um but the biggest thing with today is it depends on when these upgrades happen right whenever upgrade number two and upgrade number three are going to be released some people are talking about that this might be in january and upgrade number three might be in march that's a long time. I know it doesn't seem like a long time, but there's going to be a lot of promo cards released between now and then. So hopefully that these upgrades two and three, we hope that they're not too far spread apart. But again, obviously today we're going to be looking at upgrade one with a campaign launch and hopefully they juice some of the cards up that will be in the team today. Now, I want to talk about the team a little bit. We don't really have many leaks. There's only a couple names that have been thrown around, but there's a couple things from actually commercials and Instagram posts that have been shown in the past couple months that we maybe would have missed. This is an official advertisement from Adidas. And if you see, it's about the whole Don't Stop Till You're 99 promotion uh, on, on this commercial. And you see some of the footballers that are in here. This might give us some hints to who is in this promo today, right? Deli Ali, as you can see right here, is in-game player inside of FIFA 22. It's hard to make out, but that is definitely Deli Ali. We keep going a little bit in this and we see 99 dribbling for Deli Ali, right? Next player up, Ferran Torres. You see him kicking the ball around. You see Jude Bellingham, right? That's been a name that's been thrown around a lot. Jude Bellingham. Chiro Amoble is another one. Joao Felix, that is the one leak supposedly right now. Joao Felix is going to be in this team. As you keep going through here, you see a few more. Uh, and it shows like the passing, of course. I think it shows a 99 shooting as well or a 99 pace. I think that's even Joao Felix right there. If you slow the video down right there, it looks like Joao Felix. Uh, and then as you get here to the end, I think there's one more player that you see. Let me show you, see if I can show you. It is right here. It's right towards the end. Uh, Timo Werner right there. That's that's Timo Werner. I'm pretty sure in a, in a Germany shirt. So I'm curious to see which of these players get in that are from this video of all the Adidas athletes. There's, there's tons of names, right? And we don't have a ton of leaks right now. 
but we have that video and some of these Instagram posts, right? Gio Reyna, I guess, obviously, as we talked about too, Gio Reyna is confirmed to be in. EA posted that one. But like Paul Pogba made an Instagram post, Jude Bellingham made a post, Immobile made a post. So all of these cards could be coming out in the next, either if there's going to be a team one or a team two, a couple more. Uh, Bernardo Silva is in, involved here in Golo Kante and then Joao Felix. So who knows, right? Who knows? There's a ton of Adidas athletes, right? There are tons of Adidas athletes. And that's where the uncertainty comes in today. Now, I wouldn't be surprised. I would not be surprised if there are more leaks coming out today on Friday as I'm putting this video out. And as you're looking on Twitter and stuff like that, there's probably going to be some names released of players that are going to be getting into this promo. But at least right now, that is not the case. But I want to talk about the cards again that are going to be in packs today. Probably 11, right? It's a normal promo team of 11 cards is what we usually see. But that's the thing. Is this promo going to be any little bit different since it is a sponsored promo by Adidas? Are they going to put more cards in packs? Is it going to be a two-week promo or just a one-week promo? I think since it's a brand new promo today, there's going to be a lot of uncertainty. And I think that's going to cause a few different things on the market. The first thing we're uncertain about is preview packs because we've had a 50k preview pack the 81 to 86 and then yesterday on thursday they randomly dropped a 25k preview pack into the store that was like unheard of before this last week we have had no other preview packs besides the 7.5k in this game and now we have had three brand new different types of preview packs that have destroyed the market, not destroyed, 50K packs destroyed the market, but they've affected the market each and every day. And now people are getting used to having this in here. And a lot of people are panic selling their cards before 6 p.m. UK every day. I think that's gonna be the same today. But one thing with these brand new cards, if they release these Adidas items today, and depending, really, the supply on these cards, it really depends on the packs that are in the store. I know a lot of people have saved rewards, and week one of a promo team, there's always a lot of saved packs. So like marquee matchups, you know, there's brand new league SBCs that are out, and people might be saving some of those packs, which a few of them are tradable. Uh, of course, you know, division rivals reward, or sorry, foot champions rewards, the finals, people are gonna be playing on Friday, getting those rewards as well. Um, so I would really, I'm really curious to see what EA put inside of the promo pack section today. Could we see 100K packs for the first time this year? Could we see 50K preview packs, 25K preview packs? Again, if you look at the pack, the pack probabilities, oh, I, I guess I can't look right now because it's being updated. Uh, but I believe like out of a 50K pack, it was like a seven or 8% chance for a rule breaker. Keep that in mind today with these Adidas cards to see how rare they are on this market. Um, and I, really, I think that a lot of the game and the market side of things today, it really depends upon what packs that they put in the store. Because if they put 100K packs, that's going to bring a lot of supply to the market. That's going to hurt a lot of your top tier cards, like, you know, even an Mbappe or a card like this. There, there's going to be a lot of supply today regardless, but the amount, like the drastic how drastic that supply is depends on if there's preview packs. If there's preview packs, then the brand new promo cards are going to get so cheap unless their pack weight is really low because, again, those preview packs just bring so much extra supply to the market than if they're not. If it's just 50K regular packs and maybe 25Ks, then it might not be as crazy. But I'm really wondering if EA is going to continue that preview pack trend this week. And I, would be, I wouldn't be surprised if we see some today. I really wouldn't. And I think with people knowing that, I think you're going to see some panic selling. That's the other thing I want to talk about is I really do think that you are going to see some people selling cards off this morning into uh, as we get closer to the content drop, you might see a few cards rise up because usually early on Fridays, you see people go out and they're, they're competing in the weekend league. So sometimes they wake up on Fridays uh, and cards actually rise up a little bit. But one thing I would expect to see are some of your high, your high tier elite tier cards, maybe even some of these rule breakers and just across the whole entire market honestly i would expect to see some panic selling today icons out of packs cards like road to the knockouts you know stuff like that i would expect to see some panic selling today because there's a lot of unknown again as i mentioned with this promo there's a lot of unknowns with you know the upgrades what players are going to put in you know there there's a lot of names being thrown around big names 
So with that uncertainty, and since this is a brand new promo, I think you will see a decent amount of panic selling today. Now, a lot of the market has actually gone up, right? If you bought cards around rewards, these guys have really flown. A lot of the golds, right? I bought Mane's at 127. He's, you know, 140s. Sun went from 80K to 93. Marquinhos went from low 80s up to the, the mid to high 90s. So you see a lot of prices right now that are up. And again, I think you're going to see prices stay higher than what they were Wednesday night. The only thing that would make prices go lower than what they were on Wednesday would be, again, like an insane amount of supply. Again, just to, just to give you a little bit of a glimpse of what has gone on, like this Yorente on Thursday after awards was 40,000 coins or right before rewards, he was 40K. He's risen up to almost 48, 49,000 coins. And if you take a look at a lot of these gold metas, it's the same thing. So a lot of people went out and bought teams at the Division Rivals Rewards period yesterday uh, because there was a lot of selling ahead of time. These cards jumped up a lot. So I'm curious to see uh, if, I don't think you're gonna see Varan at like 150K again or below 150K unless we get like 100K packs or some sort of huge preview pack in the store, right? I wouldn't expect to see crazy, crazy, insane drop-offs on the gold cards unless you see that but with again the players that are being tossed around like again the names like felix diogo jota uh you know di maria ter Stegen, i think people have mentioned his name you know there's a lot of there's a lot of big name players that are in this promo that could have some pretty cracked cards um i'm i'm curious to see which ones get into this side, which ones get into this team, and where it affects the market. And I think that uncertainty is going to cause some people to sell cards today. So that would be one thing that I would watch out for, especially if you're looking at out-of-packs informs and icons. Icons and those out-of-packs informs are probably going to be some of your safest bets uh, today. Heroes might do pretty well, uh, depending on the card and depending on what kind of new items come out as a part of the promo that people might want to link up um, together. So I would keep an eye on a lot of that stuff, like specifically some of your road to the knockouts, right? Like, uh, you know, if somebody like a Paul Pogba were to get in, you know, that might bring some hype a little bit for Man United uh, fans in this game to like maybe go out and try Fred. Or if there's another, like if, if Lucas Mora were to get a card there, right? There's a couple rumors that Lucas Mora might be in as an Adidas athlete. Then, you know, you, you might see a card like this Fred jump up in price. So there's, there's that kind of thing that could happen today, but there's also the opposite, right? Like let's say, uh, supposedly there's the name that Sergio Reguilon could potentially be getting in. So another Prem right back, you might see this Andrew Robertson road to knockouts card, who right now is actually up in price, 225,000 coins. You might see him drop. So that's the kind of stuff that you would watch out for today. But I would expect to see panic selling, of course, per usual. And if the promo is really not that good, like we saw last week with Rule Breakers Team 2, I think not too many people were really excited about the cards that were getting released. So last Friday was an incredible day to make profit on icons and other out of pack specials like rule breakers from team one moved a decent amount, icons that were from previous team of the weeks, road to the knockouts. There was a lot of profit to be made last week on those cards because instead of going and buying the new rule breakers, people you know went back to other cards on the game because the new cards that came out just weren't that good. So that'll be something that we have to look at today uh, as we see the new cards come out. We'll kind of be deciding that in real time uh, of course as we start to see the promo team released and all sorts of stuff like that now content wise again since it's a you know again a brand new promo you would expect that we would have some sort of SBC player um, and then also we would have some sort of objective player released today as well since the new season is out they wouldn't have to release any of those objectives inside of the milestones tab since we are in season two um, I, you know, this would be able to be released under the objectives tab. So I'm really curious to see again, just, that's the biggest question for today. What's going to change since this is a specific like branded promo and what is that going to change? But we saw a ton of SBCs in the past week for rule breakers, right? Zaniolo, we've had like Verratti, um, you know, Goosens has been Parejo. There's been so many different players, the Mars flashback. There's been so many different player SBCs that have been released in the past week. I'm curious to see if it slows down for this week or if it continues into the weekend uh, with these Adidas promos, numbers up promo players being released. Also, one thing I do want to shout really fast is watch out for maybe some brand new packs. I don't know if they're going to be in the SBC section or in the store. I think we looked at it on yesterday's video just for a second. Uh, it was like an 82 pace plus 
uh, upgrade pack, an 82 dribbling plus upgrade pack, and an 82 passing plus upgrade pack. I think that could be something they might release today as well. I don't know if that would again be in SBCs or if that would be in the store, but that'd be something to watch out for today as well. So it's going to be a crazy day just because of the fact of the unknown, right? There's not a, a lot that we know about this promo except from the Instagram post, the, the EA quote unquote leaks that you've seen. And some of these prices are still pretty low on this market from where it's been earlier in the week. I just looked at that mid lime 1.29. That's still really cheap for him. Uh, now, some of these icons have rebounded back up a little bit, you know, and there's people that are using cards right now, as we talked about, a nice little market rise after the rewards time frame um, on yesterday, Thursday. So I'm curious to see if people are quick to panic sell this morning or if people are kind of holding on to cards that they have and um, are, are, are just fine keeping with those cards in their team and they're not super worried about the Adidas promo. So we will keep our eyes peeled for that. But it's another promo Friday, man. Hopefully, we get some nice cards today. Hopefully, it is a dope promo. And hopefully, these upgrades aren't going to be too far spaced apart. Hopefully, it's like maybe you have to wait a month and a half or like maybe it's once per month. Like, one, boom, in December, they're going to upgrade them first. And then in January, they're going to upgrade them again to get them their 99 pay stat because that would be pretty hype. Um, but we'll get the, for, the full story today as they release, of course, all the information that we'll need to know. So it is a pro promo Friday, and it's going to be exciting regardless leading up into the promo today. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you are new. It has been Nate Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace.